Welcome to our channel, everybody. Today, we're going on a journey to meet five incredible women who, despite facing the harshest of realities, rose to become pillars of their communities and champions for change. These women, their names etched in the heart of history, fought tirelessly for equality, for justice, and for a better tomorrow. Stay tuned because their stories, my friends, are not just inspiring, they're absolutely life-changing. Our first story takes us back to a time when the very soul of America was fractured, a time when the evil of slavery cast a long shadow over the nation. Born free in 1823, Wilmington, Delaware, Mary Ann Shadcarry's life was steeped in the fight for abolition. Her parents' home was a beacon of hope for those fleeing slavery, instilling in Mary a fire for justice. The Fugitive Slave Law of 1850 forced Mary and her family to seek refuge in Canada. In Canada, Mary founded an anti-slavery newspaper, her words becoming a beacon of hope. Widowed during the Civil War, Mary returned to the U.S. and dedicated her life to education in Washington, D.C. She enrolled at Howard University and became one of the first black female lawyers in 1883. Mary Ann Shad Carey's life was a testament to resilience and the power of using one's voice. Our next journey takes us into the world of Frances Ellen Watkins Harper, a woman whose words ignited hearts and minds. Frances, a towering figure in the movement for abolition and women's suffrage, used her pen to dismantle oppression. Her poetry and essays painted vivid pictures of the realities of slavery and discrimination. Through her art, she gave voice to the voiceless, her words resonating with millions. Frances Ellen Watkins. Harper was a literary trailblazer who shattered glass ceilings and opened doors for black American writers. Her legacy continues to inspire, reminding us that the pen wielded with courage can be mightier than the sword. Now let's travel to Pittsburgh, where we meet Daisy Elizabeth Adams Lampkin, a woman whose dedication to equality was unshakable. Daisy's activism was rooted in her community, her home a meeting ground for suffragettes. She understood that true change required organized action and mobilized black women. Her leadership propelled her to the helm of the Lucy Stone Woman Suffrage League in 1915. Daisy became a vital force within the NAACP, her fundraising efforts instrumental in advancing civil rights. Daisy Elizabeth Adams Lampkin's life was a testament to the power of community organizing and empowering women. Her unwavering belief in collective action continues to inspire. Our next story introduces us to Nanny Helen Burroughs, a woman of unwavering faith and an indomitable spirit. Nanny believed that education was the key to empowerment. In 1896, she helped establish the National Association of Colored Women. She founded the National Training School for Women and Girls in Washington, D.C. in 1909. Nanny was a powerful orator who used her voice to challenge injustice and inspire action. Her words filled the pages of leading black American newspapers, igniting conversations and sparking change. Nanny Helen Burroughs' legacy is a testament to the power of education and the potential of black women. Our final journey brings us to the remarkable life of Mary Church Terrell a woman who defied expectations and shattered glass ceilings. Mary made history as one of the first black women to earn a college degree from Oberlin College. She moved to Washington, D.C. and fought for women's suffrage, her voice ringing out across the nation. In 1896, she co-founded the National Association of Colored Women and led with grace and determination. Mary fought tirelessly to desegregate restaurants in Washington, D.C., chipping away at discrimination. Mary Church Terrell's life was a testament to the power of education, perseverance, and the promise of equality for all. I hope you're feeling as empowered as I am after learning about these phenomenal women. They weren't just trailblazers, they were architects of change, building a better future for generations to come. If their stories touched your heart, hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. For more inspiring stories, let's keep their legacies alive by continuing the fight for a more just and equitable world. Until next time, remember, you have the power to make a difference. Go out there and change the world.